Today I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Hemness TV bench with the three drawers at the bottom and three shelves on the top of it. Let's do it! And you're getting two boxes with this IKEA Hemness TV bench. I have everything open here already. You're getting two plastic bags with the screws itemized one and two. Manual instructions you're not going to need if you're going to follow this video. Useful tools, smaller and bigger electric screw driver. You can find all the links for the tools in the descriptions. We're starting with the bag number two. In this case, when I came in here, the bags were already open and slightly mixed up. So I'm just going to open it up, both of them. Before I start work, I like to organize everything. So I put the same screws in the same place so I know better what I'm working with. As I mentioned, at this point, you're going to start with the bag number two so open just back number two now this is the side panels so you have two side panels on the middle you're gonna have bigger holes so that's the back side of the side panel and on the side which is the front side is gonna be two smaller holes so that's the front of the side panels you're gonna have six metal rails three of them left and three of them right the right one have a mark r on it you see on the top of the wheel there is an r and left one have a L on the top of the wheel you see this is the right one go on this side place the first hole on the front middle and at the back just line them up exactly the same for the left one line up the rails with the three holes on each side once you're ready you can take three small screws for each rail so you're gonna have six in this case in total and secure the rail with the side panels. Secure the screws completely in so the heads are not sticking out. Otherwise, you're gonna have the, the metal on metal sound when you're gonna put the drawers in. You see here, the heads are completely in, so don't let them stick out of the rail. So this is the three screws for the second rail. Now we're gonna need those bigger screws. These screws have kind of stopper here, so you go just till the stopper here. Uh, this uh, unit is made of soft wood, so it's very easy to go deeper than that stopper. So don't go deeper than that stopper where I'm pointing now. We're gonna have four screws for each of the side panels, and we can place the screws in. So just till the stopper, as I see it here, but not deeper, not higher. You can finish all four screws exactly the same on one side panel. And exactly the same on the other side panel. Just till the stopper, don't forget, material is soft, it's easy to go slightly deeper than you're supposed to. Okay, now we can put one on the side and we're gonna have those three identical long panels with the gap at the back. And one is without a gap at the back. You're gonna need two wooden plugs and two metal locks. Place the wooden plugs on the side and the metal locks arrow on the lock pointing to the front hole. Just place it in. If you point the arrow to the other side, you're not gonna be able to lock the unit. Exactly the same on the other side. Holes on the inner side are slightly smaller, holes on this colored side are slightly bigger. I'm gonna explain later on why. So now position the panel this way. See the color part is at the bottom, the plain part is on the top. And secure the lock by twisting it to the right side. Don't mistake uh, the other three panels with this front panel. This one is important to, uh, in this place. So that's a front top. Those three identical panels are gonna go at the back and at the bottom. So you're gonna need six wooden plugs and six metal locks. And place them in, in those three panels. You see they have this cut at the back, they're identical, all three of them. Metal locks exactly the same, pointed to the front hole for all three of them. Now we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. Push the wooden plugs in and the metal locks in, arrow pointing to the front hole. Make sure you do the arrow correctly. All four screws connecting at the same time. You're going to have a hard time to figure out which one is not correct. If you do this right, you're going to be fine at the end. 
So here, I'm gonna go first with the front. Just slide it in. The gap is on the top now. And twist the lock to the right side. Watch out those panels are long, so don't push it hard on it now. Don't wanna put it down. See the gap here on this side. And it's coming this way. So this is the back of the unit. So here we position the gap. It's gonna be lining up with the back panel. Just place it in, see? It's lining up because we're gonna put the back panel in there later on. And we secure the lock, twisting it to the right side again. And here we have gap on the inner side, in the third panel, and the fourth panel gonna have a gap on the inner side as well. Position the panel in. And secure the lock by twisting it to the right side. So we have all four of them here. Now we're gonna place the second side panel in. Gap at the back is gonna line up with the other side panel. Gap exactly the same side at the back. And now we can position it all in. So all four screws and then plugs, they're coming in at the same time. Take your time here, no rush. Find all the right holes and tap it all in together. Just push it all down and twist the locks to the right side once you don't have any gaps between the panels. All connected nicely. Now we can secure all four locks by twisting it to the right side and we have the main frame almost ready. Now we're gonna have those two panels. Those are the dividing panels on the middle. Big holes on one side, same on the other panel. They are identical, both of them. Position them exactly the same. You see, I have those big gaps at the back. One rail on one side and the other rail on the other side. The wheel is always at the front. Line up with the holes. This is both right rails and secure it with the three screws for each rail exactly the same as previously. And we do with the second panel exactly the same. Three screws, one on the front, one on the back and one on the middle. Make sure the heads and the screws are not sticking out from the rail, so secure them completely in. Now we can turn the panels the other way around and we're gonna do exactly the same but with the left rails. Line up with the whole three holes on each panel. We need six of these small screws again and secure it. Three screws for each rail. So this is gonna be the dividing panels on the middle for the main unit. Now we can place two wooden plugs, one on each of these panels at the front. There is a cut at the front. And we're gonna place four metal locks, two for each panel. Exactly the same rule apply, the arrow on the lock pointing to the front hole. Same for the second panel, arrow on the lock pointing to the front hole. Now we have those two ready, we can put them on the side and we can put this unit, the main unit, upside down. And we're gonna put the middle panels. Position it exactly the same as I have it here, you see big cut on the left, the small cut on the right side. And now we find this small wooden plug and the hole, place it in at the front and lift the panel in between the top and bottom slim panel. If you put everything right, you're gonna have exactly the same hole. So you see here's the bigger hole on one side, exactly the same at the back, we line up the holes. Here's a bigger hole because the head of the screw is going to go completely in. So at the beginning of the hole is slightly bigger. And now we can place the second panel exactly the same. Small cut is going to be at the front with the wooden plug and bigger cut is going to be at the back. Just place it in this way. Find the hole at the front for the wooden plug. Place it in. And now straighten up. So you right on the top of the holes at the front and at the back. Now we're gonna need those four long screws. Place them in each hole. Make sure you're right on the top of the hole so you can connect the small slim panels with the dividing panels. And secure the screws. 
when you're gonna go in and you're in the right place when you find the hole in the dividing panel you're gonna feel it because the screw is gonna go nicely in if you're not in the right position screw just gonna spin around and it's not gonna go down so position it correctly and secure all four screws now we can put the unit on the side and we're gonna have wooden plugs we're gonna place them in two for each of the dividing panel that's the inner holes one on the side panels on a, one on each side watch which hole you're gonna put the back hole is for the lock the front hole is for the wooden plug same here first hole is for the lock the front hole is for the wooden plug secure the wooden plugs with the hammer and now we're gonna do the top panel i'm gonna place a sheet of paper here just to don't scratch the top panel if you have space on the carpet do it on the carpet because this material is soft you're gonna need six of these long screws two l-shaped bracket two small screws and two washers first we're gonna place the long screws and it's gonna be one on each side two on the middle same rule apply here don't go deeper than the stopper as this material is a soft wood so just till the stopper no deeper no higher otherwise you're gonna have a problem to connect the top panel with the side panels now we can put the unit up and we're gonna have two metal locks they're gonna go into the side panels at the back arrow again pointing up to the hole exactly the same on the left side arrow pointing up now we're gonna place the l-shaped brackets those brackets are there if you like to attach the unit to the wall just secure them in at this on the side where is the screws on the left and right exactly the same on the other side small screw washer go through the L bracket and now we can turn the top panel the other way around so the L-shaped brackets gonna be at the back of the unit on each side so you're gonna need two wooden plugs we're gonna place them in a front slim panel one on one side another one on the other side and now we can put the panel down we're gonna find all the holes together so we have uh, six holes for the screws plus the holes for the wooden plugs so find them all at the same time once you put the unit in and adjust it so the metal screws they pop in first once they all in it's just gonna jump in slowly it's quite a lot of screws and the panel is quite big so just watch out once you're in you can tap it all in together as i mentioned this material is is very nice it's a wood, wood but it's a soft wood so watch out when you're gonna turn this panel especially the front panels or the visible panels they easy to scratch or easy to dent so just watch out when you're gonna walk around it now you can twist the lock on each side to the right side to secure the top panel at the back two metal locks on the middle the dividing panel securing with the top panel and exactly the for the second dividing panel two metal locks twist them to the right side to secure the dividing panel with the top panel now we're gonna have four of these screws and we're gonna secure the top panel with the front slim panel one on the side two on the middle if you have electric screwdriver adjust it or go easy once it's gonna stop you don't go too harsh you don't want to come all the way through through the front panel and of course select the correct screws now we can put the unit face down as we're gonna fix the back panel place the back panel and you're gonna have those small kind of washers with the small slim screws so this it's not the washer i don't know how to call it let's call them washers they're gonna hold the back panel with the slim dividing panel so just place half of the washer on one side and half of the washer on the back panel and they have kind of grips so once you secure the screw through it it's just gonna grip with the slim dividing panel and the back panel that's how they hold the back panel in place Now we can place the shelves, just those metal plugs in and uh, turn them in the correct way so that the round part is on the top and the flat part is facing down. So you're gonna have three shelves, for each shelf you have four of these metal plugs. This is the wooden shelf, you see at the back you have a gap which is gonna go 
under the back panel just like that so you're gonna have to lift the shelf up and then put it down so it's nicely going under the slim back panel exactly the same on the middle gap at the back we're gonna go up under the slim panel so lift the shelf up and then put it down exactly the same for the third one lift the shelf up at the front put it down at the back and then put it down at the front now we're gonna have three drawers at the bottom i'm gonna explain how to do one because all three of them are identical one front panel one back panel two side panels one bottom panel that's for a one drawer you're gonna need four long screws four locks four wooden plugs and four screws small screws a door handle with a screw two rails one left one right four plastic plugs i have only two here but you need the four so now we can do the side panels at the front you can put the wooden plugs on the middle two middle holes so you have four wooden plugs for two side panels four metal locks place them in you see the arrow at the front i was mentioning during the whole video arrow pointing to the front always same here second side panel arrow pointing to the front hole place it in we have side panels done now we're gonna need those four long screws they're gonna go on the outer holes into the front panel so the first and last hole on each side is for those long panels long screws they have this exactly the same stopper but they all metal those ones so still same thing apply go just till the stopper not deeper or not higher otherwise you're gonna have a problem to connect the side panels so just like that as you as you see it now exactly the same on the other side first and last holes now we can place the side panel in secure the locks by twisting it to the right side on one side exactly the same on the other side place the panel in the locks on the outer side push down twist the lock to the right side for both locks back panel right in the gap slide it in one side is colored that's going to be the inner side one side is plain that's going to be at the back back panel there is a gap at the bottom and we can slide it into the back panel just like that and then slide it into the side panel once you're in you can put the drawer on the side and secure the drawer with the two plastic plugs on each side same on the other side two plastic plugs securing the drawer at the back now we're gonna put the rails the wheel on the rail is always at the back of the drawer so we secure the rail with the two screws one on the front one on the back same here wheel on the rail at the back secure the screw completely in at the front and on the back same things here make sure the head of the screw is completely in otherwise it's gonna make a sound when you're gonna put the drawers in here door handle one screw screw coming from the inner side connecting with the door handle on the other side secure it and place the drawer in wheels over the wheels and slide it in exactly the same for the other two drawers as i mentioned so just slide the drawers in and you have the unit ready and this is it ikea hamness tv bench i hope you enjoyed the video guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel as always you will make my day and see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day